Hey guys, my name is Dilisaw with TGN.TV. It's time to do some Q&A part two. For all you guys that missed the live stream, uh, you missed a 40 minute live questions and answers I did after my uh, three hour stream. So if you want to check that out, you can do so at YouTube or uh, Justin.TV slash Deli Slob and uh, look at recent streams and you can watch that there. Uh, so I'm just going to go through some of these recently asked questions on all of my last three videos. The reason why I couldn't do a Q&A at the end of the video is because we we're having some issues when creating 15 minute long videos or more. So that issue has been resolved. So we won't be making as many of these anymore. Uh, but who knows, I like doing a separate Q&A just as a video, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. So we're just going to start firing away. Uh, all these questions have no particular author. Uh, like my first Q&A, these were just the most <laughs> asked questions about me. And we're going to start things off with what's my actual character's name and what realm I'm on. If it's not in this screen right now somewhere, it's Percunus on the Venture Coast server. I'm pretty sure it will be on this screen for sure. Uh, and I'm not doing a guild like I did with my Horde. Um, I'm just leveling straight through. I do get the occasional person message me a couple people every night. Um, I do get people send me in-game mail. You're welcome to do that. Uh, I chat with anybody who messages me, or I try to anyway. Sometimes I get spammed, but you know what? That's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, the Percunus on the Alliance side, if you didn't already know, I'm leveling a, a Draenei Shaman on the Venture Coast server US, not in Europe. Uh, so the next thing is some latency issues i also touched on this on the live stream and what uh, many internet service providers around my area are doing is limiting uh, bandwidth and data sharing and somehow blizzard fell under that uh, it, it really sucks so whenever i play i'm usually getting anywhere from 600 to 3000 ms uh, no lower it hasn't been fixed yet so it's definitely taking a toll on how much i can actually play the game because i cannot record uh, or do anything when I have 3000 MS. It's just I'm gonna be wasting my time It's gonna look really bad, and I can't do anything. So right now I'm only level 67 uh, If not, I will be 70 by now. So that's the reason what what's going on uh, Right now it really sucks, but I emailed my ISP and they're working on it um, so one of the biggest questions I get all the time on both of my channels is is this my last leveling series well, we're going to go through a history, just a little bit of brief history on the ones I've done before. I started my channel up with my hunter, my uh, troll hunter, which is Thanatos, the guy who does uh, my Let's Learn How to PvP. That was my first ever dude I leveled up on YouTube. I did a uh, Druid past uh, December. I did a Paladin. It was kind of like a dual com type of deal with my brother. I've done many characters before, so you know what? No, this is not going to be my last one. The next one is not going to be a speedrun. Uh, this one is strictly for speed. The next one is going to be viewer interaction. I'm going to be doing it all on live stream, and you guys get to vote on what areas I go to next and what I do, what talents, what class, what race, what faction, what anything. Doesn't matter if I already have the character before. Other than Shaman, please guys give me a break. I don't want to do it twice in a row uh, because there's no point. You've already seen it. So that's my plan. It's only going to be an online live stream. I'm going to set up a blog or something like that where you guys can just vote on a poll. Um, there's always at least two areas you can level at a certain time. I'll post those two areas and whoever gets more votes, I'm going to go there instead. So that's going to be pretty sweet. I'm not too sure when this is going to happen. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen immediately after Percunus hits 85 or shortly after or maybe a couple months down the road. But it's an awesome idea uh, brought to you by yours truly, uh, Roberto, in an email chain. You know what? It was an amazing idea when we were talking about live streams. And I don't know if I got back to him on it, but I'm definitely going to use that because that's such a great idea. It's going to be like um, one, reading one of those like choose your own adventure books but with leveling in World of Warcraft. Uh, so that's pretty sweet so uh, stay tuned for that guys you can always watch me on my stream and I'll be explaining anything and a live Q&A all the time um, so we're gonna move on to what is Percunus's slash playtime why don't you never show it you know I'm boasting up how well I'm leveling how fast I'm doing it 
and I'm not showing my slash playtime and all that shitty stuff. Well, the truth is I don't do slash play it every single time I hit a level, so I don't have it, and I haven't been doing it at all. Uh, but next video, I will do it for sure. Currently, I'm at around one day, 13 hours play time on my shaman at level 67. The Outlands has been killing me, but it usually does. If you're not leveling in dungeons from 60 to 68, your time is going to suck. It's just the way it goes. It's about an hour and a half to two hour levels, um, give or take, every single time. So you're getting there for around eight levels, or actually, sorry, ten, because you get there at 58. Uh, that's 20 hours just in the Outlands. So, yeah, it's a lot of time. And I can't do anything about it because I want to do this questing alone. So this is going to move on to my next question that I get. Are you secretly doing dungeons behind our backs? Like I'm not recording it and I'm not. You can check out my armory if you don't believe me. It has all that information there. I have not done a single dungeon. Uh, but the truth is I did try to do a battleground. I was on live stream and uh, I didn't even get out of the gate. <laughs> I, I loaded it up. I signed in and we're doing a Rothy Basin. The gates didn't even open yet and I just you know right clicked and I left the battleground because you know what I didn't want to do it and I didn't want to get any of the experience because I really want to do it questing alone. So it is currently 100% questing alone so that is awesome and 100% solo. Um, I'm going to be dropping my BOAs. Why? I don't like them. <laughs> That's why. Uh, as soon as I get some shoulders and a cloak that works for my particular class set, I will be dropping them because 15% experience increase is not going to make a damn difference. Uh, for some people, they may think that, but that's only about a bar and a half. And I don't know. I like having actual gear that works for my class. I'm tired of using caster stuff for a melee stuff, so it's my mistake. I shouldn't have never done that. It would make like an hour in the difference, so it's not a big deal. Uh, which brings me to my next question. Last video, I was saying how I put lightning shield in my rotation, uh, and I didn't realize there was a glyph of lightning shield. I actually did go out and buy that glyph. Thank you guys for actually commenting on that, because I had no freaking idea that I was even out there. So thank you guys for watching, or thank you guys for saying that anyway, and I did pick that up, as well as my Maelstrom weapon, how I was doing healing uh, surge, and many people said that I should be using greater healing wave, but make note of that, I don't get that to level 68 guys, so my best heal will be healing surge up until that level if I ever need to heal, um, and then use lightning bolt if I just am full health and I don't need an instant heal, which I have been doing now. Thank you guys again for that little comment. So I'm going to move on to some of these email questions here. Uh, this one comes from Callan Cook. And he's asking, what's my opinion on the Guild Finder system? And uh, that's a great question. I personally have not used it, uh, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, I haven't really seen it too much, but it's a great idea. It should have been implemented a long time ago. It's making it a lot easier for guild people to find guilds. Because let's be honest, if you're not in the guild right now in World of Warcraft, you're missing out on a lot of key perks. And you're not going to be leveling as fast, you're not going to be getting as much experience, honor, uh, your hearth will be faster, you run faster in ghost. So much benefits come from being in a guild nowadays that it's actually, uh, if you're just running solo, you might as well just make your own guild and invite some random people so you guys can get some guild experience. This question comes from Xyler Fenner. It's not really a question. It's just an a email he sent me. And he's talking about uh, how he heard I live on Prince Edward Island, Canada. And I think that's pretty awesome how there's a bunch of islanders actually watching. If you don't know what that means, uh, you probably won't understand. Where I live is so small, it's actually amazing how there's people from my area who actually watch my videos and if you are from PEI leave a comment that that's so awesome I love when I see people from Prince Edward Island watching my videos it makes me really happy actually um, a side story here we got some time an RLA at my university actually watches my videos a couple of my buddies were getting drunk one night the RLA uh, started talking about games with some of them and uh, he was mentioning World of Warcraft 
one of my buddies actually, you know, mentioned, you know, Do you, have you ever heard of Deadly Slob? The guy was like, yeah, I watch these videos all the time. And then he's like, well, he goes to this u university. And the guy was just so amazed. And whenever I heard that story, you know, um, it's awesome whenever you see comments in the section below. But it's even better when you find someone in real life that actually watches your content. And I think that's really amazing. So uh, just a little story that I want to share with you guys in my little Q&A. Um, this guy, Alex Fortaberry, I'm sorry if I screwed that name up, he's wondering if he could play with me on World of Warcraft on the Venture Coast server, and you know what guys, I get this all the time, I get thousands of emails every week from people asking me if they want to uh, level a character with me on such and such server, give me all this information, and I can't because I can barely find time to do these two projects on my own uh, I have another job I have a lot of things on my plate so I have no plans of doing anything uh, right now fan related uh, other than answering you guys questions and you know doing some live streams with you guys doing some live Q&A uh, but right now if you're not watching the stream I won't be making any more guilds because my last one was uh, it was a learning experience for sure Alright guys, that's about it for my q and I know it's only about a 10 minute long video, but this sums up my last three Q&As for my three videos I released. All my Percunus 1385 vids. If you haven't already seen those, you can go back and watch them. Uh, you can watch the whole damn thing if you really like. Uh, and my next video should be uh, 65 to 70 or another Let's Learn How to PvP, however my schedule goes. So thank you guys for watching. I pl like Please follow my stream. We do a lot of funny, awesome stuff on there. Uh, so if you take any interest in my videos whatsoever, go in the description box below, follow the link, and click follow. And you'll be notified whenever I go live. I mean, it's actually amazing. It's one of my most favorite things that I do now. Uh, just getting on, playing the game, streaming, talking with my fans, with random people about absolutely everything. Getting on an event with my buddies, it's great. It's a blast. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I know the community has been so freaking awesome to me. Thank you guys, TG and Army. You guys are freaking badasses. And uh, next video, we will be doing a Draenei Shaman video. So until next time, guys, my name is DeadlySaw with TGN.TV, and I'll see you guys next time.